I get lost sometimes in your piercing eyes. You make me realize that I hold myself back. I hold myself back. And I get hurt sometimes by my own desires. Then I look into your eyes, and you're not holding me back. I hold myself back. I saw you and I knew you'd set me free eternally. Suddenly I see there are no boundaries, no love too strong, no right or wrong, just beauty and grace when I see your face, your face. Where I see your face, your face. And I get scared sometimes that I'm playing with fire. Then I look into your eyes. And nothing's holding me back, nothing's holding me back. Mm -hmm. I saw you and I knew it set me free eternally. Suddenly I see there are no boundaries, no love too strong, no right or wrong. Just beauty and grace when I see your face, your face. When I see your face, your face. I saw you when I knew. Thank you, everybody, for receiving that. You know, Rock and Recode, I get to share two of my greatest passions. Uh, actually, I, I the best way to say it is my two greatest passions, which are music and transformation. It's my two greatest passions in life. So getting to share that with you is such a pleasure. And I'm grateful that you're here tonight to rock and recode. Like I said, if you've never experienced this before, I see, I think at least, at least one or two new people here tonight, which is awesome. Um, if you've never experienced this, expect, right? Expect a big shift tonight because that's what super conscious recode can do is create a big shift and change your entire trajectory even. And lots of, lots of miraculous things can happen when your resistance shifts from having a lot of resistance to lowering that resistance. And once that resistance gets lowered so much can open up. And one of, one of the things I wanted to talk about tonight before we get started here is, is this thing we call surrender. You know, we, we hear that word a lot, especially in the spiritual community, you know, is surrender, let it go, right? Just surrender, just let it go. Like it's something easy to do as a human, you know, like we're just supposed to do it. 
Um, and what I've found is that it's not, it's not the easiest thing, right? Because that means giving up control. And control is something that as humans, we naturally like to have, to tell, the, to tell you the truth. So it's not something that's easy. And what, what actually wants to be in control is your ego. Your ego is the part of you that wants to control. And in this work, we also call your ego the unconscious mind. And the unconscious mind is always trying to keep you safe. And it's keeping you safe because it has one, you know, one mission, one agenda, one egoic agenda at that, which is to make sure you don't die, right? It's wanting to keep you alive. And that's why. Often, you know, when things really aren't dangerous, it's, it's still putting it out there like it is dangerous so that you stay safe. And so, you know, in the past, this was very helpful when we were in, you know, in more ancient times where, where we were actually in situations where it was life or death, you know, where maybe an animal was trying to attack us or there was, you know, something else happening. But in, in modern times, this safety mechanism that's built into us actually stops us from a lot of things that are not actually dangerous to our lives, right? But it's still acting like it is, and it's playing it out that way. And so that can keep us from stepping into, you know, our greatest dreams and our greatest heart's desires. And no one really tells us how to surrender or how to let go, right? Usually they just tell you to do it and you're supposed to know how already, right? But, but we can keep hanging on to those things from the past for a very, very long time. And most, most people actually hang on to the things from the past for their entire lives. And they never take that next step towards what they've been dreaming about. Like, I'm talking about the big dreams, right? The ones your heart just knows it wants so badly, yet you can't get yourself to go after because it, it doesn't feel safe. And so for me, that's what, that's what Super Conscious Recode has been so amazing helping me and I've I've now witnessed many 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 others get unstuck and start creating the lives that they love and and that's what we're going to do tonight you know so if you've if you've been stuck if you've been feeling like you're stuck that you've come to the right place and even if you haven't, and there's something you've been dreaming about for a long time, and you haven't taken any action towards it, you've come to the right place. Even if you're curious about what this is, you've come to the right place. And like I said, I guarantee a shift tonight, because that's one thing that always happens with Superconscious Recode is a shift. And so I'd like to get started just just by hearing everyone, uh, hearing from everyone a little bit. So if this is your first time here, I want you to share what brought you here. And then what we always do is after, you know, is create a true choice. So a true choice is something you would love to have in your life for no other reason than you would love to have it. You don't even need a reason. So it's a choice that's really true to your heart that is not determined by anything. You know, you're not, you're not trying to resolve something, right? It's something you would, you would just love to have. You're not trying to solve a problem. You're just feeling into your heart, feeling what wants to be created there, and then letting that come through and voicing it to come into creation. So how we say that in this super conscious work is, I choose the end result of. 
so an example of that would be, you know, I two of the core choices in this work are I choose to live a life I love and I choose to live my true nature and purpose. Those are examples of things you can choose. You know, it can be anything. It can be anything in, in literally any area of your life. It can be something that's a, a physical thing you want to manifest, like a house or a car or whatever. And it can also be non-physical things in, in your life. It can actually, you can choose to have emotional states that you desire. You know, you can, you can basically choose whatever you want, health, relationships, you know, everything. So the only rule is that you can't choose to run away from something. So you can't choose like, um, you know, an, an example of that. <laughs> well, the main, the main example that's, that's used is like, if you're living somewhere, like right now I'm living in Chicago. I couldn't make the choice of, I choose to get out of Chicago and live somewhere else, right? Because that's running away from something. So if I didn't know where I wanted to go next, I would choose to get clarity on where to live next, right? If I did know where I wanted to go, I would choose that, right? So, so we can make all kinds of choices here. And so I'd like you to make a true choice today. And if you have, you know, been in this group before, um, what I'd like you to share is what's been, what's been opening up for you since, you know, since the last Recode Club or since your last Recode session. And just, just share some of your, your mini miracles or, or big miracles or what, whatever's happening. So, um, Let's go ahead and start with Sarah. Can you go ahead and, and share? Hi. Hi. Was it me, Sarah, or is there another Sarah? Sometimes there's more than one. <laughs> it's you. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, well, it's been a really long time since my last uh, recode with you. Um. I guess I'd say I'm in a more peaceful environment. Well, slightly better than the one before. So that's great. And um, I'm now look, looking at a couple of job options. They're not my favorite and not at the financial place where I needed to be. But I think I think the fact that it's in my space means it's going somewhere. <laughs> And um, I choose the end result of financial freedom. Awesome. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks, Mike. Financial freedom is a really great choice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So let's go to Robert. Go ahead and share. Just unmute your mic and share. I can click on you to help you ask you to unmute it. <laughs> oh, there you go. Cool. Yeah, on my phone, so I wasn't sure. I was <laughs> no looking for yeah, I know. Um, so uh, my name is Robert, and um, what was the first question before what I'm creating? So what what brought you here tonight? Because I know it's your first time. Oh yeah, yeah. Um. Well, you've been inviting me for a while, and I've known you for a while. Um, and I'm really curious, just from what you've shared and the description that I read. Um, and I'm, there's a lot of things I'm trying to uh, that I'm working on in my life in terms of changing things, starting things, shifting things. And I've had a bunch of struggle uh, for a while with with um, yeah, with a bunch of stuff. Um, so, wow, I've, I'm having trouble kind of narrowing down what I what I um, want to create. Um, yeah, that's a common one. So a lot of times people have trouble narrowing it down. And what, what I always <laughs> say is that 
every area of your life is interconnected in some way. And yeah. so it, just choose the thing that's like coming to you first, like that's really popping up to the front and just go with that because it's, it will impact other areas of your life as well. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to, so I know what I'm going to, what I'm going to say about, what I'm going to talk about, but um, it seems really like jumping ahead, but it's the thing that I feel most inspiration about right now to talk about. Um, and then could you, could you say again, what has the, the wording? How do, how... Oh, sure. So it's, I choose the end result and then you follow oh. it. Okay. Yeah. Um, I choose the end result of uh, owning um, land to uh, to create a home and homestead on. Great. Thanks, Robert. Really awesome choice. Thanks. Thanks for being here. You're welcome. Okay. Let's go on to Kay. Kay, go ahead and share. Are there two Ks or just, just me? Just you, Kay. Okay. So you wanted to know uh, what what happened since the last time we met? Uh, on yeah. the, you mean in the yeah. recode? Oh, yeah, okay. like what happened after yeah. the recode for you? Okay, yeah. So thank you very much for sending me the meditation. So I've been listening to those, you know, they're very nice. I mean, I, I really love them. It was very nice of you to send them to me. And so I feel like they're the four. I've been doing those. And so, yeah, I just think they are helping me, in, you know, in some way. I feel like I'm becoming more grounded, you know. You know, for example... I mean, I always like to go in nature, but now I I just have more patience for like little critters, like I don't know, <laughs> ladybugs are landing on me, beetles. I used to like be scared of them and stuff, but now I'm just more patient. I'll take the time to take them outside, like you know, things like that. So I think that's becoming more grounded and a patient, <laughs> you know, for the for other creatures, you know. So I I think it's a good thing. But uh, you and why what my choice, right? You want to know my choice? Yeah. What's your choice? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I choose the end result of having an abundance of time, wealth, and health. Good health. Perfect. Thank you, Kay. Thank you. And thanks for that. Thanks for that feedback there. Yeah, well, you know, one, you. Of, one of the things that, that super conscious recode can really help with is fear and phobia is one of the first things it helped me with right off the bat was public speaking. Like I was so scared to even get on like a Facebook live and go on a Facebook live and start talking. And it helped me get over that fear, like seriously within like a couple of recodes. And I've never had it since, you know, I wouldn't have ever even thought of, of hosting a group like this before, um, like online like this and doing this live because I would be too scared. So, so, you know, I'm really grateful for it allowing me to do that. So it, yeah, you know, like overcoming some kind of fear and phobia that you may have is, is another, you know, choice you can always make. Um, so let's go to uh, Wanda. Are you there? Wanted to go ahead and then unmute and share. Yeah. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hey, Wanda. Uh, sorry, I'm, I, I was late. I was, I don't know, I was waiting somewhere. I was in another room somewhere, another Zoom room, just waiting for it to start. Um, so I'm, I'm sorry I didn't hear what we're doing right now. Oh, no worries. Well, I'm glad you found this, this Zoom room. Um, so what I'm asking is, you know, what's been opening up for you since, you know, your the last time uh, you experienced Superconscious Recode? And then I want you to make a true choice after that. So what's been opening up for you, Wanda? I'm, I'm, I've been opening up. I've been being part of myself there that I haven't, I haven't seen before. 
Again, parts of me that I like, the parts of me that this is my mother. <laughs> I sound so much like my mother all of a sudden. It's just I never knew she lived here. <laughs> so my the end result that I choose is to come into my authentic self and live my own truth. Awesome. Thanks, Wanda. It's a little hard to hear you, but I think I, I heard you choose the end result of coming into your authentic self. And yeah. then there was another part of that, but go go ahead and put it in the chat. And I would, okay. I would love this to see in your full choice. Th thank you. Thanks so much, Wanda. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Okay. Let's go to... Let's see, let's go to Nicole. Nicole, are you there? Hey, I'm on the road. I'm not sure it's safe for me to be chatting on Zoom today. I'm sorry. Okay, no worries if you, if you just thank want you to. So, thank you so much for having me. Oh, thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you. And if you want to go ahead and make a true choice too, go for it. Okay. And next we have Katie. Katie, go ahead and share. Katie, are you there? Maybe she's not there. Okay, so we'll move on. Let's go to, um, let's go to, Eric and I see Marta is there too. Yeah, hey, yeah, it was great. We're, so we just had um, our first recode, I guess, a couple of days ago. Um, thank you for that amazing session was, uh, with Marta. And we did. Uh, my my intention at that point was to make love with my wife, and that happened. <laughs> Actually, I believe since then I've learned that we are pregnant, which I don't think I knew that before then. So it's almost was kind of a, a spiritual love making. Um, <laughs> but it's very exciting. Um, so. You know what's been coming up for me though? I've done the recode now two mornings, and I this morning I realized that I have a lot of resistance to um, any form of self practice. I mean, I've known this for a long time, but it was coming up even during the recode. And so, what I intended today, and what I want to intend now, is to um, to make the choice of what it's to become present with. What is the the wording? I, Robert, I choose, as the, I choose the end result. I wanted to, I want, I'm choosing the end result of um, just total acceptance and integration of my resistance and just seeing it for the gift it is and making, falling in love with my resistance and um, just really whatever gift it has inside of just to have that become part of my practice rather than something I'm trying to push through or push past. Yeah, that's my end result. Cool. Yeah. So how would you put that? Like if you were to wrap that up in a tight little, you know, with a bow and a tight little package there, like, how would you say that in one sentence, sum it all up? I think I just, I choose the end result of, of an integrated practice, like uh, all, all parts of me in that practice. Awesome. Thank you, Eric. And, and what about you, Marta? Um, well, I, my, what I've been experiencing isn't, an increased push a pressure inside to act like what you were saying that resistance kind of started fading away and I'm like I need to act but there was also the component of lack of time and energy so I was kind of just pacing myself but I feel more and more clear on what I want to do for my business and your idea your share about public speaking the fear of public speaking actually super resonates for me and i th i think i want to choose that as my end result i want to choose i'm choosing the end result of uh, feeling comfortable speaking publicly perfect great choice both of you and did i hear you're pregnant yes <laughs> well congratulations that's her not me <laughs> yeah <laughs> i figured thank you. yeah thank you yeah I found out yesterday <laughs> Wow. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's really awesome. 
and thanks for being here. And I wanted to share, so Nicole, who was driving, just to put it out into the field, she's choosing an elf business, which I'm not sure if all of you know what an elf business is, but it's an easy, lucrative, and fun business. So that's what elf stands for. So you can use that one too if you want, because I really love that one. Um, I, I have that now, and I'm grateful for it. So um, let's go to my dad, George. Dad, go ahead and share. Hi. Um, yeah, I um, wanted to share the fact that um, recently I've been introduced to a, um, a new church by my son and his, and his girlfriend, Katie. Um, but it, it's been a different experience for me. And the reason I bring it up is because um, at the end of the service, they have a thing where they can pray for you. You go up to the altar and tell them what, what do you want them to pray for? And um, I actually had them pray for my health because my I still have an issue with my arm and my hand, which I guess is getting better because I've done a lot of work lately using it, um, even, even though I'm not supposed to. But um, I uh, <laughs> yeah, my, my collapse. And um, so I, I choose the end result. This time I want to be more specific. I choose the end result of vibrant health of my left arm and wrist um, because I need I need it to function. I need it to be myself. Um, it's part of me and I, I need it. I just need it to function correctly. So that's that's what I'm asking for. My, the end result of um, vibrant health but specifically now for my left arm and wrist. Great. Great. Yeah. Be specific. Be clear. Th thank you, dad. And, and yeah, my, <laughs> I was laughing because <laughs> my dad is really stubborn and he, he likes to do things himself. And he, he just had surgery like two weeks ago, I think. And, and he's like picking up stuff. He, he had, surgery like carpal tunnel tunnel surgery and surgery on his elbow area and he's like doing all this stuff he, and then he he'll do it and then he'll be like ah it, hurt, it hurts now and it's like uh did they tell you to do that after the surgery because i'm pretty sure your doctor probably told you to rest <laughs> so anyway thanks <laughs> thanks dad he's a real good guy tell me to rest but yes, you know me, I, I I don't listen all the time, so. Yeah, yeah, all you're, right. a, you're a real go-getter too. So, <laughs> thanks, Pops. All right, I think I think that's everybody. Did I, did I miss anybody? I don't think so. Well, Katie, Katie, are you there now? Yeah, Katie. Katie, go for it, go ahead and share. Good evening, everyone. Um, what I've been, uh, getting out of Recode is a lot of things falling uh, away um, and realizations coming to me. It's really propelled me forward in my life journey with my family and my past and uh, and things. Um, and what I my I choose the end result of being fully and authentic, living fully and authentically as myself. Awesome. Thank you, Katie. I'm so glad you're here. As Thank always. You. Yeah. Yeah. So what was coming to me right now is there's this there's this magic number of doing group work in eight in you know, the number eight. Like when you can have eight people doing intentional group work together like this, it's like a really magical, powerful number. And there's a whole book about it called The Power of Eight. 
and we have eight of us here right now. So I'm just getting this really strong intuitive hit that it's going to be a really powerful night for everybody tonight. Um, okay. So let's get into this unpacking process. So you've made your choice, right? So now the first step after making your choice is really getting into that end result and feeling what it feels like to already have it. So the more you can get into that end result and really feel like you already have it, you know, the quicker it's going to come, the quicker it's going to manifest into your life. And, you know, my dad has, you know, some health stuff going on. People have definitely had really amazing things happen with their health from this. Um, you know, I want to share one of my one of the greatest things I ever experienced in a group setting like this doing super conscious recode is a woman who had really severe arthritis, so so much pain in her hands, like really bad arthritis in her hands for six months, and literally did two of these group sessions with me one month and then the next month and it's gone forever, just gone forever. And nothing was doing anything for her. So that's the kind of stuff that can happen, you know, and she, she really believed that I was going to do something for her. So, so I always say, you know, it doesn't take belief for recode to work, but belief makes recode work even better. Right. So just just remember that. Like see how much faith and trust you can have in this process right now. Okay, so I want you all to get in a comfortable position and go ahead and close your eyes when you're ready. And think about that choice you're making. So the choice you just shared with me and everybody else, just think about that choice and go ahead and say it out loud again if you want. Yeah. Now we're really going to get into the end result of this choice. So really start to feel like you already have this choice. What would it be like if you already had it? Really let yourself start to experience that and all the feelings that come along with it, all the emotions. A great place to start feeling it is in your heart and you can even touch your heart if you'd like. Touch your heart and really feel what it would feel like to already have that. Now I want you to let that feeling start expanding out even further. So first let that, all the emotions, all the feelings coming through, let that expand to your mind, creating that heart coherence between your heart and your brain. So now your heart's sending up those signals to your brain, creating this new memory. I want you to create a new memory right now. So, so imagine now, what would it be like to already have it? You know, see yourself already having it, visualize it. What do you look like when you have it? Just really use your imagination and let that whole experience happen for you now. And let it expand even further and further, letting those feelings and all those emotions fill up your body. Spreading through your whole entire body from your head all the way down to your feet. When you can feel it in your body, you are literally recoding the cells in your body. 
and we want those cells in the body to get used to these feelings so that we can recode. And let that feeling and all those emotions expand even more and more, going from your whole body out all the way outside your body, expanding to your whole entire being, radiating from the inside out. And when you're there, I want you to open your eyes and put into the chat You can go ahead and put your choice into the chat and then also put what emotions are you feeling with that choice. So ground in that choice by typing it into the chat. We're saying it, but we're saying it with our voice. Now you're going to type it into the chat. And I want you to put all those emotions you're feeling within that end result of already having it. What does it feel like to already have it? What are those specific emotions? The more we can name it, the more it can exist. So what's everybody experiencing? Go ahead and share that. see joy and freedom yeah love that it's often a very light feeling like you're floating away almost what else do we got Confidence, radiating love, and self-realization. Yeah, awesome. Optimal health and abundance. And I see just like amazing, superb. Yes. <laughs> just a big yes. <laughs> I'm seeing feelings of peace, safety, joy, Liberation, expansion, generosity, creation, fullness, purpose, uh, excitement, anticipation, thankfulness, yeah, self acceptance and confidence. Yeah. Yeah. See all those, those positive emotions because here's the thing. All that can happen when you're in the end results and you're focused on the end results are positive emotions. Especially, I'm saying this from the standpoint where it's a true choice to your heart. There can only be positive emotions that come from that end result. So when you stay focused on that end result, it's like an instant raising of your vibration that brings you there. Uh, I'm seeing sweetness. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing, everybody. So see how quick, too, you can, boom, create a shift in your body and in your whole being and in the way that you feel. And you're the one that created it. Nobody else created that for you. You self-generated that. So that's what's possible when you stay focused. Uh, yeah, and I'm also seeing relief. Mm -hmm. Yeah, often it's a huge feeling of relief. Like, ah, uh, I have it, you know. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go on to the next part. And the next part is looking at the current reality and the way you can look at the current reality as being beneficial to talk about is because it allows us to close the gap. So we can start from the past and try to get to the future. We'll start from the current reality. 
can get to that future self. It's a lot harder to get there from the past and all those negative emotions, negative beliefs, negative thoughts from the past, trying to pull that, you know, to this future you that you're creating. It's much easier to just say everything that's going on now and just be completely honest about it no matter where you're at. So this is, you know, this is what's coming up for you. This is just being honest where you're at compared to where you want to be. So there's always this discrepancy going on and that's why there is a gap because there's this ideal, ideal reality and there's the reality that you're actually in. And so what we're going to do now is, is say that reality that you've actually been in compared to what you're choosing. So just be as honest as possible. This is a totally safe space to share. You know, everything stays in this container. So the most important thing is, again, to name it all in as much detail as you can and get it out there. And you know, just put awareness on it. All we're doing is put a, putting awareness on it. We're not going to stay focused on it. We're, we're just giving it awareness right now. So, so I want everyone to go ahead and put in the chat, you know, where, where are you at now? What's your current reality? How's it been compared to the true choice you're making? And you can say, you know, how it's been and then any emotions you're experiencing along with that and any belief systems that might be there. What are, what are the underlying beliefs going on with all that? You know, what, what beliefs do you currently have? Go ahead and put it in the chat and just get it all out, just dump it all out. So this actually helps us create and we can Say how it is now. Um, I'm seeing victims who my life circumstances, not able to be myself, not able to live and accept me. Yeah. Mismanagement of money, stuck in a pattern. Money makes you different and selfish. And people will want to hurt you to take it from you. Yeah. Yeah, there's one of those beliefs coming up, right? Those are the kind of beliefs that cause the resistance happening. What else we got? And great, great awareness, great self-awareness so far, everybody. Just get it all out, whatever it is. Don't be afraid to say it. I'm, uh, I'm seeing I, I need to have my arm back to be normal. Yeah, that would be a belief, right? Um, I'm not good at expressing my thoughts. No one is going to want to listen to me. I'm too arrogant to want to share my thoughts. These are the thoughts I'm having. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Because you know the truth is we all we all go through this. Stuck, frustration, powerless, repeating struggle without results, shame about it. Yeah, and, and thanks for bringing up that repeating. So often, what we do is we oscillate between this future self and this ideal reality that we know is possible. We can feel all that possibility and feel how amazing it feels, like we just did. And there's times where we even believe we can have it and then we oscillate, we go back to the old identity, to our old selves, and we get stuck between these states of stuck and flow. We just keep going back and forth and oscillating back and forth. So that's also why we talk about the current reality, because it helps to create less oscillation like that. So I'm seeing uh, self-practice is not fun and hard to do consistently. I won't enjoy it and it won't work. Not even sure if I deserve to have it work. Wanting to honor my resistance for what it is. So in the struggle to do this, yeah. And it can often feel like a struggle. Um, 
my current reality is that my time is tight, but I am very grateful to have work. I need time to have true wealth and health. I want to be free to create and thrive, own my time, and still have all that I need. Yeah, so that's where you're at. You can be anywhere. You know, you can be anywhere. So think of this as your starting point today, because this is where you're at. This is where you're starting, and this is not where you're going to end today, because a shift is going to happen. So you're not going to end in the same place that you're starting. Cool. So the next thing before we dive into the actual recode is the last thing is how much resistance are you feeling from where you're currently at right to where you want to be which is your true choice so you've just expressed your current reality how much resistance are you feeling and i want you to share that on a scale from one to ten one being it feels very easy to have it, you know, 10 being it feels absolutely impossible to have it, or somewhere in the middle. So just put that number from 1 to 10. I'm seeing a 7, an 8. Five, a seven and a half, or, or eight. Mm -hmm. What else we got here? Seven. So everybody's pretty, pretty high up there in the resistance tonight. That's what I'm saying. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a powerful one tonight. Eight is great. So we got another seven. Yeah, all mostly seven or eight. Yeah. So that's that's where we're starting tonight. Thank you everybody for sharing that. This gives us a measurement so that you know this is where you started. And then now we're gonna do the recode and I'm gonna ask again where you're at so you'll get to see if it went down or, or not. And when I say if, there is no if really. It's never not gone down for anyone. <laughs> so it will go down. But this is my brainwashing technique right now. <laughs> Kidding. So it actually didn't work once, but the person told me later, it was in a group, a group like this, and they told me, told me later that they never made a choice. They never made a true choice. So nothing shifted because you're the creator in this. If, if you don't make a choice, nothing's going to shift because it's your free will to choose it. So it all it always starts with a choice. You have to make the choice. No one can choose your will for you. Okay. So for, for you newbies, I'm just going to explain quickly what Recode is. So Superconscious Recode is this amazing tool that has the ability, you'll see it's like a 10 to 15 minute process. And it has this amazing ability to bring down the resistance that you're feeling. And how it works is that we work in the superconscious field, which some also call the quantum field. Basically, you can think of it as the field of all possibility, you know, where everything that ever was, ever is, and ever will be exists. And so there's that, that field, which is the field of the whole entire universe. And then there's also your individual superconscious field. So I mentioned before, you have this ego, this unconscious mind. You also have a super conscious mind and that's what's causing the oscillation too because your ego is always trying to fight your super conscious mind to stop it from doing what it what it wants to do and actually what it came here to do right and 
so the super conscious is really amazing to work with because one, it's eternal and it only knows eternity. It doesn't know time and space. It only knows eternity. And because of that, because it only knows eternity, it's only here for the experience, right? Only here to experience everything. So there, there is no right or wrong, good or bad. There's no judgment at all. And it's very willing to help you do whatever you ask it to do, right? So what we do in this, in this treatment is ask your super conscious to treat very specific things. And I receive it from the group field, from everyone that's here, from each of your super conscious. It's going into the group field and it's showing me what's most important to be treated tonight. And it's specific to you. And because it's quantum, it's also specific to anyone who's going to watch this replay. It's like already specific to them too. Because it, like I said, it doesn't know time and space. It doesn't exist in time and space. It's kind of hard for the brain sometimes to wrap around that. But but let's just say it it will work for the people who watch the replay too. So that's it really. So we're going to work with, with your super conscious. We're going to recode and you're going to, you're going to feel different, right? You're going to experience a shift and it's, and it's literally a shift in consciousness because you're going from that current reality of the unconscious mind and all that's there. And it's shifting you into this, this super conscious mind and the super conscious version of you. And from that place, there's two things that for sure always happen because when the resistance is down, you're more likely to take actions that you don't want to take right now to get your end result, right? And you're more likely to come up with new possibilities and, and even greater choices in that low resistance. So let's let's dive into it. So all you need to do is receive right now. I'm going to guide your super conscious through everything. So just go ahead and get comfortable right now. And close your eyes. Start by taking three deep breaths in your nose and out your mouth. And with each breath in your nose and out your mouth, letting your body relax more and more. Opening up to receive, receive all the gifts that your super conscious has to give you today. And I want you to think again of that choice you're making. So go ahead and make that choice again. Say it in your mind or say it out loud. Choose that end result and own that end result right now. And all you have to do is relax and receive. So right now, I love you to imagine that you're inside a pyramid of light. It's a pyramid made completely of white light. You're completely inside of it. To see that pyramid of white light surrounding your whole entire body. And at the very top point, I want you to see white light coming down from the center point of the pyramid, coming down into your crown chakra, coming into your body now and filling up your whole entire body with white light. And experience that white light for a moment. It's 
experience how it's taking care of everything for you. Everything that's in the way of your true choice. Everything that's in the way of living your true self as your true self. And it's supporting you in every way, including with the choice that you're making tonight. And so I want you to imagine now, since we're here in this group of eight, I want you to see eight other pyramids in a circle. See everyone in their pyramids of white light. To see how we're all in this together. And it's more powerful together. We amplify it together. So go ahead now and I need you to say either out loud or in your mind, say, I give Michael permission to connect with my superconscious. And super conscious, are you there? Yes. Super conscious, do all parts desire treatment today? Super conscious, please treat all parts, all resistance, all fear doing a massive change history and everything is needed. And please share it with all parts that no parts will die. All parts are completely safe. And if even just a little bit can be treated today, that's enough. All wisdom, all knowledge remains. Everything is retained. You won't lose anything. And superconscious, do you see everyone's true choices and end results? Superconscious, please create the perfect treatment plan, treating everything in the perfect order and in the perfect way. Thank you. Superconscious, do you see the metaphor and do you understand the metaphor of the boulders and the river blocking the flow the way that it could flow? Superconscious, please bring up all boulders, all resistance, all fear into the active experience now so that it may be treated with the intention of more satisfaction and less pain in life. Thank you. Super conscious, please treat this belief that what what I'm I'm up against, what what I'm going against, what I'm fighting against is so much greater than me. And I don't I don't even have a chance. Do you see that belief? Yeah, super conscious, please treat all resistance and do a massive change history and everything as needed, treating everything in the perfect order and in the perfect way. Thank you.
In superconscious, do you also see this belief that there's there's an evil force that has taken over this world and has taken over my life? And I, and I can't do anything about it. Like I am completely powerless. Do you see that? Superconscious, please treat all resistance and do a massive change history and everything is needed. Thank you. And superconscious, do you also see the part that believes that I have to wait? I have to wait for someone else to do this for me. I have to wait for someone to give this to me. I have to wait because I'm not the one that can do it. Do you see that? Superconscious, please treat all resistance and do a massive change history and everything is needed. Thank you. It's superconscious, do you see do you see the emotions? There's like this emotion of of being grumpy. Like do you see that? And all the stuff that's connected, all the resistance connected to the grumpiness. It's like a grumpiness and almost like a hopelessness. Do you see that? Yeah, please treat that. And please treat all emotions causing resistance, the anger, the sadness, the grief, fear, the anxiety, the worry. Please treat all of it, all emotions causing resistance and all states and definitions of myself, others in the world. Do a massive change history and everything as needed, treating everything in the perfect order and in the perfect way. Thank you. And superconscious, please treat the entire chakra system, both front and back, bringing everything into balance the way that it's meant to be. Please treat the meridian system and all related organs. And please treat all body systems. Treating to experience that vibrant health and vitality, the way the body is made, the way it's meant to be, to see all that resistance. Please treat all resistance and do a massive change history and everything is needed. Thank you. And superconscious, do you, do you see that? Superconscious, please do a full superconscious recode on that, please. Thank you. And please treat that that wound the especially the I don't belong to see all the resistance created by the I don't belong and not fitting in almost like feeling cut out 
of the rest of society because I don't belong. Do you, do you see that? Superconscious, please treat all resistance and do a massive change history and everything is needed. Thank you. Super conscious, please, please treat all family entanglement suffering contracts. Please treat as many generations back as needed and as many generations forward as needed. Treating across all timelines treating everything in the perfect order and in the perfect way, treating the DNA, and doing a massive change history and everything is needed, thank you. And super conscious, please treat the alignment with desires. I am good enough. I belong. I am confident. I am powerful. I am a super conscious creator. I am free. Please treat anything out of alignment that may be causing resistance to replace with these alignments. Treating everything in the perfect order and in the perfect way and doing a massive change history and everything is needed. Thank you. I'm super conscious that there is any remaining resistance, anything at all, anything that is willing to be treated today, all aspects, parts, definitions, anything and everything, please treat all resistance and do a massive change history and everything is needed, treating everything in the perfect order and in the perfect way. Thank you. And super conscious, please ground in all the memories we've touched on today, including memories one, two, and three, super conscious, self-conscious, and unconscious, and connect them back to the matrix of the universe, grounding in today's true choices and end results into reality now. And please treat for as long as needed, including everyone who watches the replay. For the best and greatest good of everyone in this group session tonight, everyone watching the replay, for the best and greatest good of all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let that treatment continue to process and set in, still doing its thing. So keep, keep your eyes closed and I want you now to imagine yourself again within this pyramid of white light. See yourself 
inside of this pyramid of white light and see again the white light coming down from the top center point of the pyramid coming in to the crown of your head and let that white light now just come straight to your heart now it's all going straight right to your heart center filling up your heart just let that heart expand and see that heart expanding as white light, as the sphere of white light that's opening up in your heart and now coming through your body and going all the way outside your body, going all the way outside the pyramid. There's now a sphere of white light surrounding the pyramid and you that's inside the pyramid. From this place, you are completely connected to the superconscious field of all information, all wisdom, all guidance. I want you to ask your own superconscious, superconscious, what's the next action for me to take to have my end result? to have my true choice. And let that answer come. Whenever you have that next action, go ahead. Open your eyes and type that next action into the chat. And also share what your resistance is at now. On a scale from one to 10, what's, what's your resistance at now? And what's that next action to take? What's the guidance you received? So I'm seeing, awesome, Marta went from an eight to a four. Cut that in half, cut that resistance in half, awesome, it's great. Cutting it in half can go a long way. And I see next action, find a small topic and make a YouTube video on it, cool, it's great. Let's see, Eric went from a seven to a three. We both went down four. Everyone feel free to share in the chat when you get it. Some of you might be still in the field. <laughs> That's okay. So I'm seeing next action, publicly acknowledge the degree to which sexual addiction has played a formative role in my life. Yeah, wow. That's, that's definitely a bold action. And I'm seeing uh, Sarah went down, went from seven and a half or eight down to a two. And her message that she got is, let it be fun. Yeah, let it be fun. Maybe even easy, lucrative, and fun. <laughs> and I see Katie was at a seven. Now she's down to a four. Next step, self-focused, loving meditation. Mm. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, so these, these actions, these next actions that we receive are very important. They're not to take lightly. I mean, some of them are light choices and they're not to take lightly in the way that this is clear intuitive guidance that you're receiving from your superconscious who is connected to eternity and everything. And you're receiving this message from your superconscious, so it's important. 
take this action and you will see something happen from it. I've sometimes seen things happen that I've been guided to do, like literally instantly. Sometimes it's just telling me to make some kind of post on social media. And it's like, and it's like instant, instant response, like within seconds of me posting it sometimes. <laughs> Or some, you know, it a lot of amazing things can happen. So I see K started, what did you start at K? Five, and now you're down to a two. Awesome. It's awesome. And I see Robert was at a seven or eight. Now he's down to a five or a six. Very cool. Make time to treat myself to things that bring me joy. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and write, write these things down for yourself too, you know, so you remember to do it, write it, write it down somewhere, and somewhere you're going to see it. And KIC, my next step is to follow my path to freedom, onto freedom. Oh, it's really great, everybody. And I just want to, I want you to know that no matter how much you went down, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Like, it really doesn't matter. It's not a competition. Um, some things you've had resistance to for a very long time, and it's kind of like chipping away, right? It's just like a chipping away each time you do a recode. You might need a series of them um, to get it really down for, for certain things. But even that chipping away, think about how many years the resistance has been there sometimes. So even that chipping away can cause unexpected things to happen in your life. And I mean those positive, unexpected things that you didn't know were going to happen and you love that it's happening. Yeah, really great, really great group session tonight, everybody. Um, for those of you that don't know so we do this super conscious recode club every single tuesday at the same time which is 6 p.m pacific 8 p.m central 9 p.m eastern so every week we get together and we do this together we create you know and we create together in a powerful way and bring down that resistance um, so if you're interested in, in being part of this group, um, it's actually a, a very affordable membership that you can get. It's, it's, um, well, it's typically only, um, oops, almost, I just almost canceled the meeting. <laughs> it's, it's, we didn't, we don't want to do that. <laughs> It's typically $47 and uh, $47 a month only. Um, and I'm actually offering it now for $37 a month, giving a deal. It's like the, the rock and recode deal. You come to this event and you get a deal. So I'm giving that right now and I can put uh, the link in the chat for you, which was there earlier, but it's not there now. So let me actually get that again. But we have, you know, we have a lot of fun doing this every week. And the key, the key to anything, and this is anything in life, this is like with, with your business, or, you know, it, it's, it's your personal life, what you want to create. The key is consistency. That's the real key. So when you can be consistent in it, you can see the results that you want to see. It takes your own will. That's why I'm saying like with these actions, we sometimes go, oh, that would be nice. You know, that would be nice to have that. And then we don't take the action. And part of that is, you know, because it's very hard to hold yourself accountable to that action. And so when you can do it, in a group like this, you know, you're more likely to take that action. So I put uh, in the chat, there's the deal for the $37 for anyone who, who wants to join. And yeah, we're, we're going to keep, we're going to keep doing this, you know, as long as there's 
I guess as long as there's Zoom, if Zoom goes away, we'll get we'll find another platform. Um, but we're gonna, gonna keep going. There's no plan on stopping. Um, and I also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions for anyone that's interested. If, if you are interested in that, um, actually, I'll put my phone number into the chat now. Just contact me and we can get that set up for you. So there's my phone number. And that's basically it. So stay in it. Stay consistent. Um, I want to offer you a free gift that's going to help you do that. So um, for everyone who came and it's the first time or maybe it's the first time in a while, uh, Robert's saying, is Zoom supposed to go away? No, that was a joke. Sorry. Sorry. That was a bad joke, I guess. <laughs> Zoom is not going away anytime soon. It's not in this world. So <laughs> it's just a joke. Zoom is still here. Zoom is going to stay. Um, but basically, yeah. So I want to give you, for those of you who don't have it, um, there's a free meditation of doing the four core choices, which you can do the four core choices and then add in the choice you made today. And it's a guided meditation. So if you just want to put your email into the chat, I will send you that meditation for free. And it's something you can do on a daily basis to stay in it. And you can keep recoding your body and your mind and really getting into that place of being a super conscious creator. So if you want to just put your email in the chat and I'll definitely send that to you. So thank you so much for being here, everybody. This is Rock and Recode, so what I'm going to do is close out with a song for you all to enjoy. And this is another original song that actually, I, I'm living in Chicago now. I don't know for how long, but I used to live in Santa Cruz, and this is a song that I wrote just as I arrived to Santa Cruz. It's actually the first song that I wrote. It's very much inspired by by the beauty of Santa Cruz, not only the external beauty of, you know, the city being by the ocean and the mountains and the redwoods, but also the beauty of the people there. And so just let, let this one ripple out and, you know, create even more of that heart opening. So I invite you to receive this and enjoy and see you next time. Oh yeah, and we do these rock and recodes every, Every single month, there's a free recode. So you can obviously keep coming to these two. It's free every single month. It's the first Tuesday of every month. And this song is called Smile. And I'm going to put it into this gallery view now so I can see some of your smiles as you listen to this song. All right, have a good night, everybody, and just enjoy. Sing with me by the sea when I'm in your company, I feel so free. So dance with me under the red wood trees. We can be in harmony. Just you and me Cause your smile Your smile lights up the world And saves my world So stay for a while Yeah, stay for a while And your smile Your smile lights up the world And saves my world dancing. Dream with me by the sea. We can find some clarity in the cool ocean breeze. So dance with me 
Under the canopy of trees We can be the remedy Just you and me Cause your smile, your smile Lights up the world and saves my world So stay for a while Yeah, stay for a while And your smile, your smile Lights up the world and saves my world So stay for a while Let's expand the universe Oh, now we got the dogs too Let's expand. 